They've come from all over the world. 20,000 people gathering here in beautiful Denver, Colorado for SIA 2011. I'm John Hickenlooper, the governor of the great state of Colorado. We welcome the 2011 SIA. It's an avalanche of new gear. The entire snow sports industry under one roof, showcasing the latest trends, innovations, product lines, and styles. Hold up, did someone say styles? I'm two-time Olympian and four-time Alpine National Champion, Kaylin Richardson, and we are here at the SIA Snow Fashion and Trend Show, where we're going to get a sneak peek at 2011 and 2012's hottest and newest looks in ski, snowboard, and children's wear. The catwalk commands our attention with glamour and beautiful models. But what does it take to put a rock and fashion show like this together? This is enough. What I'm going to do is call out the number that's in the front of your bag. Why are you still in your fashion? Could you please take that off for me? He, he thought sorry. I was a model. He just made my year. Jessica, how is tonight different than your average fashion show? I would say it's different because all the clothes are very fashionable. They actually serve a purpose. They certainly do serve a purpose to keep you fashionable and warm on the slopes. Who's the other Zeus model? Meet Matt Doherty, wardrobe supervisor for the entire show. It's his job to make sure the vision for the clothing gets translated from the designer's concept to a clean presentation on the runway. With 80 different looks to present, he's just a little busy right now. I'd start this way. Yeah. <laughs> Take me through what you are doing today. Well, today we are just getting everything ready for the fashion show, steaming it out, girling it out, ah! making sure the girls can all make their changes or the men as well. We have all the samples shipped here. We unpack them, we line it up, we color code it or color story it, and then we go from there. If you'd like, I can show you some of the pieces that we have. We have a whole kids segment this year that we've never featured kids before. One of our big sponsors this year with children is Obermeyer. Here's one of the pieces that they are uh, featuring. It's a, a little girl, kind of a princess cap sleeve, Cinderella kind of look. It seems like there's so many great colors that are just popping. The big colors this year are dove gray, black, the winter white, and the lux sheens. As a matter of fact, if we could go right over here, I'll show you a piece from a company that we've never had before. It's their first time. They're called Miko. But this is really kind of right on trend with what we're seeing. It's a very high sheen and pewter with rouging and a lot of detail. Fabulous. A pewter, very luxe kind of feel to the fabric. So that's really right on point with what's trendy. Where would someone wear this? Like where, where could, I could definitely this Aspen. ski Aspen. Yeah, definitely it's ski based. It's a perfect Aspen From look. Aspen to Whistler to Jackson. It really, it would look good anywhere. Exactly. This is a yellow man. They are inspired with Asian tattoo art. Ooh. And this reads very, very well on the runway. This is an Under Armour piece that is in the show. They're one of the big vendors in the show this year. Over here is a liquid piece that you'll be seeing. It's got a lot of graphic print to it. We've seen some of the ski brands, but you have a lot of snowboard brands as well. Absolutely. There's an entire snowboard section to the show. Boardware is very street influenced. As you'll, when you talk to the trend and the stylist, they'll tell you that it's very influenced by what they see on the streets and it translates over into the boardware. If it's supposed to be a sleek silhouette, we want to make sure that we're showing that. If it's something that's supposed to be a little more urban, that's the look that we're getting out there on the runway, and that's kind of what I do. OMG, the runway. I've been having so much fun hanging out with the dressers, I forgot about the main event. I'm not gonna take it. <laughs> Let's head across the hall and see how the models are doing. Girls, I always hear that models don't eat, but I love to see you just going at it. Well, get some food, get your energy, because you got a big night. What, what do you have here? You know the really healthy Lay's classic potato chips. <laughs> <laughs> nice hey, but none of us will eat apple. No. Why, why not? Oh, because does the apple make you bloated or retain water? No, we just no, don't. I just healthy. really don't eat that healthy. Oh. <laughs> Ladies, 
ladies, it looks like you're getting really ready, and you are Caitlin. And Caitlin. And I'm Kaylin. I feel like we were meant to meet. <laughs> this is your second year doing makeup at SIA. Yes. What have you learned? You know, take it as it comes, and there's always fun concepts thrown at you at the last minute, and this winter wonderland sort of frosty look is definitely one of those times. Oh my gosh, your moon boots are so awesome. Thanks. Yeah. You know, I'm, I'm among all these models, and I have to at least look a little bit glamorous. I mean, look at these beauties. <laughs> <laughs> So I see that you are putting some glitter in the eyebrows, does that make the eyes pop? You know, it's really going to be fun to have the light hit it on stage, and when you're doing something in such a large scale as this here, you want something that's really going to play with the lights and really translate at a distance, so this is definitely going to happen. Do you have a lot of pride when you see the girls come down and say, oh, see, they look fabulous, that was me? Absolutely, but I mean, these are gorgeous girls to start with, so I get an easy job. a little bit what's going on with your hair and what the aim is. We're definitely doing kind of just like a fun little wave. We're trying to make it look like we've been on the slopes all day. So it's just kind of something fun and a little messy and crazy. Ooh, the tousled look. Yeah. The Apresky tousled look. As much as I love talking with the models, the ballroom is filling up and it's almost time to start the show. The countdown is on. When you are just about to go on, what's going through your head? Don't trip. <laughs> <laughs> More fierce fashion after the break. You're watching the Ski Channel. It's finally here, the moment we've all been waiting for. It's time to start the 2011 SIA Fashion and Trend Show. The room is buzzing with excitement. Meanwhile, backstage, the models are getting ready to shine. What's it like back here right now? It's very calm, you know, we're not getting down to that, okay, everybody ready, it gets a little chaotic at that point. But we were just talking about how we've been doing this for a while, and we, we used to get a little nervous before a show, which is as it should be. Yeah, a little nerve-wracking at first. Once you get your first walk in, then it's all fun from there. Fun writing! We're getting pumped up for the show. <laughs> Everyone's excited and ready to go. I am ready to start the show. Three, two, one, dropping! Sending it right off the top is Farah, a clothing company known for impeccable design and the perfect fit. Hey, I'm Eric and Farah. We're going over our 2011 fashions. I'm going to share our men's traveler jacket. This is a longer parka, great for the mountain and backcountry. Textured gray fabric, hidden hood in the collar that you can zip out or stow away. Uh, nice highlights on the um, draw cords here. Waterproof welded zips, as well as spacious cargo pockets. And inside, you got the full set of features. Music pocket, serrated lining, really comfortable against your inside layers, and fully featured. Treading the stage next is Boulder Gear. From the backcountry to the terrain park, Boulder Gear has you covered. Now taking the runway is Vocal's hot new looks. Hey Brad from Vocal Performance where Ben's got our acid wash and lime on with a gun metal, also very cool. Both of these fabrics are exclusive to us. They took over a year to develop as far as concept to actual fabrication. Full hood, detachable, zip-off powder belt, always with thigh ventilation. Uh, these are 15,000 mm waterproof breathable, so very, very high technical specifications for the worst conditions. The mm rating on this fabric is 15,000 waterproof breathable. The standard mm technology here is 5,000, 5,000, so you can see this is three times more waterproof breathable than most of the standard fabrications in the industry. Both jackets, men's and ladies. Vocal drops in with Performance Wear White Logo Jacket. Here comes the Vocal flagship jacket that's the counterpart to the men's camo print we just saw a moment ago. It's the Performance Wear Butterfly Print Jacket. This is our ladies' butterfly. It's a woven with an overprint 
truly three-dimensional, gorgeous piece. Every technical feature you can think of from detachable hoods, powder belts, inner cuffs. So it's a very high-performance parka, and yet it's obviously a gorgeous jacket. Coming in for a landing on our runway is Desant with their gray houndstooth jacket. This is Susan with Desant, coming into the booth. This is our Swiss World Championship jacket. The jacket has a gingham print, which mixes into our denim print here. It's a thin insulation, Desant patented, very lightweight. And then all of the pockets are actually delasered. It's a Desant technology that makes all the lines very seamless, very flat, and non-obtrusive. The hood easily folds up right into the collar. So you can have a foot hood, no hood. So we paired the Swiss World Championship jacket with the World Championship pants. It's a dark gray fabric, also made of insulate insulation, seam sealed, that mixes straight into the gingham print again. All of the logos and zippers are delasered. It's got this wonderful ventilation system here on the side that zips down the full length of the pants. Also features suspenders. Desant's DNA line is the blueprint for ski fashion. We introduced a new pattern this year. This is our women's dot jacket. It's made out of our ox skin, really durable fabric, and also with our thin -solate, thin insulation, very lightweight. It's made for the free rider. We like to pay, again, close attention to detail with the cute buttons and wonderful colored zippers. And we paired it with a matching pant. It's also made of the durable ox skin fabric, 20,000 mm waterproof, windproof, wonderful ventilation for your legs, and very cute pocket detailing. theme with DNA we went with a technological theme and this is our Giga men's jacket so the outside fabric of the jacket is ox skin but the inside we have that DNA thin slit insulation extremely warm very lightweight heat flex 40 is as light as our thin slit insulation but without the bulk from outer space moon boots at Technica, we invented what we like to call Dopo Ski. You might know it as Operate Ski or After Ski, but the quintessential mountain luxury products. We've got a fabulous collection of fur boots, hand-built in Italy with the finest Italian materials. If you want the definitive mountain luxury, this is your go-to boot. 25 million units later, after we landed on the moon, you've got the moon boot, the original Dopo Ski, the classic oversized silhouette. Women love it because the contrast with the oversized volume, frankly, it makes your legs look great. You're getting that great contrast, super warm, super lightweight. This screams fun. This screams it's a snow day. Let's get out in the snow and have a blast. So at Technica, we like to service your fashion needs because we know that being warm is important, being dry is important, but more than anything, looking great is important. Looking great is easy when you're wrapped in the latest from Under Armour. Their mission is to make all athletes better through science and the relentless pursuit of innovation. So I'm T. Hernandez, this is Beth Huner. We're the product line managers for Under Armour. I'm gonna show you the men's snowpocalypse jacket here. This is new for us this season. Three layer stretch, a couple of cool features here. Pass pocket hidden under a flap, so it keeps it clean, but you can access it easily. Three re rotter resistant zipper. In this jacket, we have flow through venting, and here you can see the rear vent, and it pushes through from the front out through the rear and then we're running Reco on this piece as well. So really nice, light, good weight to it. Get rowdy in this performance logo and tights from Piora and a pistol knit Heather Beanie. Melt the pow with a white zip mock tee and thermal pants from Polar Max and a pair of stylish Thorlow black and orange socks. Polar Max also has a floral pink zip mock tee and black tights, along with Technica plum lace boots. Look out, it's Sun Ice Color Block Fur Trim Jacket and White Winter Pant. Finished with Swanee's white leather gloves and Technica white boots. Hot new up-and-comer Ski Ho sports a bright green laser jacket, gray sweatpants, and burgundy headband. 
complete the look with their classic mute hoodie. Outdoor research shows off their Diablo Storm bound jacket which goes great with avocado igneo pants. Mountain Uniforms keeps it real, paired with black pants and S4 optic red goggles. This spiffy look is a Goldwyn clear blue logo jacket with matching pants. Straight from Norway, Jus represents with a chartreuse zip jacket and gray snow pant topped with swanee gloves and technical black boots. Don't she look fabulous? Did the model shrink? Yes, here we have our uber young models in Obermeyer's kids gear. I wish I could fit into some of this stuff. Families ride and ski together all the time, so SIA decides to include kids for the first time ever. Man, are they cute. The crowd went wild for these mini fashionistas. Little sass to that little girl. They're so cute. Also featured in the kids show were snow dragons, Polar Max, Ride Snowboards, Liquid Boardwear, Sun Ice, O'Neill, and Juice. No kidding around, SIA's kids wear was a huge hit with the crowd. We just saw some amazing looks from Vocal, Descent, Under Armour, and Obermeyer. Stay tuned to see what O'Neill and Liquid have in store. the show where all our models are getting ready to work it. They're going to need it. Smile, sashay, shante. Thank goodness they ate all their potato chips. How many uh, changes do you have? Uh, three. Three. My first look is these ski She's boots. She's got a task ahead of her. So, I'm going to work it. Hopefully I won't fly off the runway. If you fall over, you get back up and you just start laughing and just keep going. And you do a little one of these. So without further ado, let's get back to the show and hope nobody trips, of course. Starting off the second round is the 686 Black Wax Denim Jacket. M65 Matte Wax Black Denim here. Military pockets, hidden snaps underneath, ring snaps, internal stitching, really, really detailed throughout. What really makes this different, it's not just a regular wax cotton denim. We actually made this from scratch from the fibers. We added bamboo yarn into this to make it have more of a moisture wicking uh, property. And we actually coat this on the exterior as well as the interior with a certain type of wax. We wanted to keep the softness of this, but the authentic feature of it. M65 matte wax denim. On the bottom here, it's a deconstructed pant, so everything here looks realistic, but it's a sublimated print. Very expensive, very timely process, so it looks like real denim, but it's actually a sublimated kind of faux pant. Liquid's sick line of apparel is dry. Hey guys, it's Eric from uh, Liquid Boardwear from Montreal, Canada. Here we have the men's 10,000, 10,000 plaid jacket colorway with a removable hood, powder skirt, goggle pocket, and audio pocket. All jackets have these features throughout, ladies, men's, and kids. This jacket's good for ski, snowboard, city. Everyone could wear this, not a problem. Apparay ski this plum hooded jacket. Here we have our Gloxina colorway in denim. Again, the features that I explained to you in men's carry through into ladies. It's a synthetic poly fabric and it's been very well received. O'Neill's line got buzz with its Jeremy Jones line. A percentage of sales goes to protect our winters. This year for O'Neill, we have the Jeremy Jones collection. 100% recycled ripstop, great eco-friendly piece, very functional really waterproof and breathable, and profits from each sale of these jackets go to protect our winners. One of Jeremy Jones's most passionate foundations, he spends all winter in these pieces, paired up with his poison pant, and you'll have one of the hottest looks out there on the hill. Bonfire's up next with their Bluebird Marine jacket with Volt canvas pants. Also by Bonfire is the stylish marine silk print jacket with Bonfire mahogany pants and Wait a minute, we've seen this before. Styles, who could forget? 
Off the hill for apres speed? Strut fierce in this luxurious pewter and fuchsia rhinestone jacket and pants. Aspen beckons with these pewter crinkle pleat jacket and pants by Miko that Matt showed us. YMX's oriental inspired designs show in this jersey and hoodie. Love this vintage print top by Neve which goes perfectly with technical winter fur boots and multi-merino leather handbag. Little Crimson Riding Hood here wears an aubergine hooded wrap made by, with a twist. Be beguiling in this Boulder Gear Metro print jacket and black intrigue pants. And this all white outfit by Nils Inc. features a winter jacket with fur perfect for snow bunnies. That concludes our sneak peek SIA 2011 fashion and trend show. Check stores for these hot new looks this fall. The Outdoor Industries Women's Coalition is a nonprofit association whose mission is to provide opportunity to women in the outdoor industries. This year, the OIWC celebrates its 15th anniversary by hosting the Ramp It Up Fashion Show, featuring the industry's most notable men in red hot feminine attire. That's it for the amazing SIA Fashion Show. I'm Kaylin Richardson for the Ski Channel, and hopefully you've seen some looks that inspire you to get out on the mountain.